Um, well, I mean, it's we're searching for solutions because we're we're a better offense in this. Um, and sometimes you go in a, in a few ruts individually. Sometimes you go through it collectively. And right now, the collectively is pretty painful. You know, we we go through. Um, you know, you look at the other side, and I know Toronto is a good offense, and you hold them to ten runs in a four-game series, and somehow you feel good about it. But but we didn't score near enough to um, to split the series or win the series. But um, you know, it's not from a lack of work or a lack of a lack of analysis or trying to. Uh, to find solutions, these guys are, are um, battling a lot of entities to 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 make it better. But um, you know, as a group, we're, we're just we're having a hard time, you know, piecing together some some innings that 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 make you feel good. How do you think the guys are just responding and handling this overall? Just like said a little. Um, well, I mean, we we all hate it collectively because we don't like going through this rut and. And we know we're we're better than this, um, and we're facing some pretty good opponents. So I think the guys are handling it like uh, like pros. I mean, we're we're coming to the ballpark every day. We have energy. We're prepared. We um, we believe in in this group. Uh, they believe in themselves. But you know, sometimes you need to have a good day in order to um, to realize all the work and 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 all the extra conversations that you're having, you know, are worth it. But. Um, it's the big leagues, and and it's a game of adjustments. It's not a try-hard league, and we've got to try to find a way to, um, uh, you know, to to scratch across a few more runs. And, and I'm proud of their effort. I think that's the thing that that goes unnoticed uh, from the outside looking in is, um, you know, these these guys are are working to uh, to make it better. Was that the best game that Tyler White's had in a yeah, I thought Whitey had a good a good uh, a good couple of at bats. I mean, obviously the base hit to right is is uh, when we weren't getting anything off a of hap. The the double after the after Gaddis's double with two outs was a um, you know was a nice a nice at bat for us and got us back in feeling like we were back in this game. It was only a two run game at that point, um, so it was nice to see him uh, put a couple good swings on the ball for sure. It's one of the bright spots of late, maybe the, the starting pitching. Yeah, starters and relievers. You know our our. Um, you know our 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 run prevention's been pretty good recently, and I think they they uh, take pride in putting you know starter after starter after starter putting up good good games. I mean we've we've had a hiccup here and there, and um, they understand it's a team game. We're, you know we win as a team and we lose as a team, but you know we struck out their guys you know quite often. We did give up a few home runs. Um, we feel good about our pitching, how it's lined up heading into this series. Um, but but obviously as a team component, it's only part of the equation. What about Mike Fire specifically? It seems mm -hmm. after the first batter, he kind of locked in. Yeah, you know it, it, the first hitter, the first inning, they did a good job of manufacturing a run, and and you always want to do that to try to take the lead. And um, but after that, he he was he was really good, and and he he pitched his way you know into a couple situations that that he was good at. He, he missed some bats. Uh, I thought he finished. He threw some finished pitches that. Uh, you know that they weren't anticipating, uh, and it was nice to see him, you know, overcome the first inning run and and put up a really good start.